Yo brother, it's time for us to start talking the real man. We've been sugarcoating too much, we've got to start calling everything out for what it is. Hey guys, I'm here with my S22. Now I know it's been, I think, less than a week since I uh, put out the video where I reworked my stock ex uh, suspension. I upgraded the hardware uh, for the shock uh, linkages and I cleaned out all the gunk in the stock slider and I turned it into a dry slider system and uh, showed you a video of me riding with it and I've been happy with it <laughs> for uh, under a week. Well, uh, Marwin reached out to me. Marwin is a local rider, Southern California. I sold him my first uh, 84 volt ACM that I had later uh, painted copper. I sold it to him for $300, maybe a couple years ago now. I think that's what he learned on. Uh, he's progressed quite a bit since then, of course. Well, he reached out to me and he offered me a complete uh, 3D printed uh, slider set already assembled. And he had modified the, the 3D uh, print file to uh, make it fit uh, from what he tells me, it fit perfectly without me having to f do any fiddling with it. So, uh, you know, what am I going to do? <laughs> I'm going to install it, of course. Now, I envisioned myself uh, upgrading from this to the full uh, CNC or one of the one of the current um, slider systems being uh, sold. I just haven't determined uh, which one I want to get, but uh, one with you know proper uh, bearings. But uh, hopefully this will last me a while and it'll be fun to um, you know, see how it works. Now, uh, I don't regret the work I did a week ago on this because uh, I needed to fix the linkages. I needed to get all the gunk out of the slider because it was, you know, act pretty horrible at that point after only about 250 miles of riding. Uh, but since I've already really done all the hard work, I should be able to install these and be up and running in probably under 30 minutes. Before I take it apart, I wanted to show you the state of the shock with the dry shock. Still moves. Certainly not super springy though, that's for sure. Okay, well, I'm not going to uh, show you how I'm going to take all this apart. I'll do that off camera. If you want to see how I do that, you can watch the video up here. And uh, otherwise, uh, see in a couple of seconds with a disassembled S22. This time I opted not to disconnect the phase wires in the hall sensor uh, connector. So I just disconnected the battery lights cables and then slid the control board module down between the chassis and it's working great this way. Let's do disconnect. All right, I have uh, slid this in a little bit and it's nice and uh, freely moving, so that's good. So it's not gonna be much more work. It's really nice that everything has been cleaned out on my previous effort. All right, back together. Took a little bit more than half an hour. My biggest struggle uh, so far, the two times I've done this, is getting this back, getting the motor back into the shell. Uh, just like last time I had to uh, mount the wheel uh, vertically so I could slide it on and then it went together beautifully. So it is definitely better than the stock sliders in the dry configuration that I had done. Definitely looser. I, I rode it outside just around my block once and uh, just get a feel for it. 
feels great it's not noisy now I don't have high expectations that the solution is uh, going to last a long time just based on the, the construction and uh, the um, bearings kind of uh, quasi homemade bearings and uh, like I said before I am going to be uh, installing a some kind of a C and C based solution uh, once I settle on the one to buy. Uh, but in the meantime, this is going to be great, I think. I'll do some uh, trail riding, see, see what I think about it. All right, guys, this was a short video just to uh, keep you up to date with uh, my uh, adventures with uh, S22. Until next time, safe riding.